Steven Universe has seemed to captivate quite the audience. From creator Rebecca Sugar, the show follows the adventures of a young Steven who lives in Beach City with his space moms, aka the Crystal Gems. The Crystal Gems consist of a team of alien warriors, Amethyst, Garnet, and Pearl, who protect the residents of Beach City and the rest of the world from strange and evil creatures. Through many adventures, Steven learns how to become a Crystal Gem like his roommates, and his deceased mother, former leader of the Crystal Gems, Rose Quartz. In the two seasons the show has been on, it has sparked a ton of conspiracies, but this one in particular really caught our eye. What if the Crystal Gems are actually evil? Now I know what you're saying. There's no flippin' way the Crystal Gems can be evil. I mean, it's even in the extended version of the theme song. If you're evil and you're on the rise, you can count on the four of us taking you down. Cause we're good and evil never beats us. That would have been much more convincing if I played it on the ukulele. But you see, the show is all from the perspective of a young and naive Steven, who really has no idea about gem culture or even what happened with the gems before he was born. Most of the history that is told to Steven is vague and very unclear. The gems could be telling him that what he's doing is right, but in fact it could be very wrong. Also, whenever they go on missions, they don't just fight and kill gem monsters, they kind of hunt them down. The theory goes on to state that in the episode Mirror Gem, we see how the crystal gems keep another gem trapped in a mirror for thousands of years using her gem to power the mirror. In the episode, we learn that it was Lapis Lazuli who was trapped in the mirror, a gem who can manipulate water and really just wanted to go home. Lapis's gem was used to record all of gem history and culture, which the reflective side of the mirror could witness. Also according to the theory in the episode Ocean Gem, Pearl states that all of the enemies they have battled are just corrupted gems. Beating up and killing your own kind seems pretty evil to me. And let's not forget they're only really protecting Earth because of the actual planet. They don't really seem to like humans that much. And Pearl seems to be the most condescending of the bunch. She is constantly referring to humans as living boring and insignificant lives. Also, Pearl has put Steven's life in serious danger. In the episode Space Race, she tried to shoot the both of them into space in a homemade rocket, which seems pretty negligent. Another idea that this theory brings up is that Cookie Cat could very well be a parallel to the Crystal Gems. In the Cookie Cat theme song, there is a line that goes, a refugee from an interstellar war. And what are the gems? Refugees from the gem war, which is in fact an interstellar war. I bet you're thinking right now, Cookie Cat isn't evil, he left his family behind. Well, in the episode Future Vision, Steven imagines Cookie Cat blasting him away with a laser. And Steven even says, I never suspected you to be evil. Could this be a reference of something to come? Are the Crystal Gems gonna blow him away with lasers? Could this frozen treat mascot Cookie Cat really hold the answer to this conspiracy? Are the Crystal Gems really evil? I think we have to give the Crystal Gems some credit. They may not have the patience to deal with humans because we are kind of the worst, but they care enough to protect us from alien invaders who try to hollow out the Earth for their own selfish desires. I mean, let's not forget, they do call themselves protectors of the Earth. Also, the Crystal Gems never put Lapis in the mirror. Pearl states that they actually just found the mirror in the Galaxy Spire. And in the episode Ocean Gem, Pearl also says that not all gems are good. And they certainly don't want to take the chance of releasing Lapis onto Beach City and the rest of the world if they don't know what she's capable of. And about that gem monster thing, in the episode Monster Buddies, Garnet says that Rose Quartz tried to find a way to heal them. Maybe this could be a power that Steven is going to learn in future episodes. And about the space race episode, Pearl was just clouded by her excitement of showing Steven gem culture, that she just kind of forgot to care about how unsafe the rocket was. So her intentions were good, just only slightly negligent. And last but not least, Cookie Cat. Yes, the Crystal Gems and Cookie Cat do share a refugee likeness, but we have to remember that this was just Steven's imagination getting away from him. So while this could be an interesting interpretation of the show, I personally believe that there is no way the Crystal Gems could be totally evil. So on the plausibility meter, I give the Steven Universe Conspiracy one lion out of five. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cartoon Conspiracy. In the comments, let me know what you thought of this conspiracy and if you agree or disagree with how I rated it. I know there are a ton of Steven Universe conspiracies out there, so if you guys have any awesome ones you'd like us to cover, send us an email or write it in the comments. And if you have any other conspiracies you'd also like us to cover, do the same thing. Make sure you check out our preview for next week's episode and catch up on any episodes you might have missed. Subscribe to Channel Frederator and I'll see you guys next week.